Now that you have an understanding of the fundamentals, you're ready to install and run Pulsar. Barry will be leading you through the installation. The first two videos will take you through installing VirtualBox. No matter what operating system you are running on your computer, whether it's Windows, Linux, or Mac OS, using VirtualBox will allow you to download and install Pulsar on a Linux machine. From there, we will set up the operating system parameters, guest tools, and connectivity. We will highlight key configurations and tools to make running Pulsar easier, such as cluster SSH. We will set up and run Linux, Zookeeper, Bookkeeper, and Pulsar. Once Pulsar is installed and configured, we will lead you through a real-world example, moving stock market data using Pulsar. There is example code available as a downloadable resource in the real-world example lecture. Use that code to follow along with Barry's example, and also feel free to use it for your own use case. Attached to this lecture are four downloadable TXT files with code including the install notes and service files for Pulsar, Bookkeeper, and Zookeeper. We encourage you to follow along with the videos, not the install notes TXT. The install notes document is meant to be used as a reminder of what is covered in lectures, not a standalone set of instructions. We recommend that you listen to the videos once through to get an initial understanding of the process of setting up Pulsar. Then watch a second time while you're setting up Pulsar on your machine. You will likely need to pause the videos in certain sections as you follow along. The videos have captions that can be turned on by clicking the CC button at the bottom right corner of the video screen. Captions can be helpful in following along, especially when hearing unfamiliar terminology for the first time. You can also run the videos at 0.75 or 0.5 speed to slow them down. For those less familiar with Text Editor, there is a link to a helpful tutorial in the resources drop down for this video. All right, let's get started by first downloading and installing VirtualBox.